In this video, I'm going to show you how to catch fish in minutes at the beach. It's very easy, but important. Just like people, the fish follow roadways to navigate the surf. To identify these fish roadways, we need to understand what we are looking for. When you first get to the beach, look for breaking waves. Breaking waves will show you where the sandbars are located. This is important because the areas in between sandbars are called troughs or guts and are the roadways for fish. The area past the sandbar is the deepest zone and is considered the interstate as it's always the fastest route even at low tide. The zone just before the sandbar is usually a little more shallow and is comparable to traveling on a slower highway. The zone closest to shore that offers the first little drop-off is the back roads. Slow moving for big schools of salmons but offers a lot more food options. There are areas that offer huge advantages and those are rip currents. When the water crashes on shore, it has to return to the ocean. Rip currents are designed to carry out that important recycling process. Powerful rip currents also carry out some of the food source held in shallow zones to site feeders like Pompano. When fishing a high tide, one of the biggest mistakes anglers make is only casting to the zone past the bar. When the water is at high tide, it offers more opportunity for the fish to get closer to the back road zones and ultimately the food source. Without the cover of deeper water offered by high tide, the fish are not likely to be feeding in these zones close to shore because of being vulnerable to predators like sharks and birds. As the tide begins to fall, the fish are more likely to be feeding in more protected, deeper zones. There are several key areas to cast when fishing a rip current, and often this depends on what tide you are fishing. If you have two or three surf rods, then focus on fishing multiple zones until you find where the fish are feeding. Cast one of your rods just inside the bar at the edge of the rip current. Cast your second rod just past the bar at the edge of the rip current. If you have a third rod, then cast it directly into the center of the rip current. You can move this rod in closer as you fish the rising tide. If you show up on a day with flat surf, there are a couple indicators that will help you find the best areas to fish. First, you can look for moving water heading away from shore often shown by bubbles and whitewash. That is the rip current and targeting those zones I mentioned previously will help you locate the fish. You can also follow the beach contour along the shore and fish areas where the water has big dips. The dipped contour continues underwater, so stand on one of the points and cast into the deeper contour zones. For more detailed information about reading the beach, comment for another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.